Hey, welcome back. So in this first video, I'm going to show you how to create your Photo Studio account and to configure it. So first you have to go on photostudio.io using your web browser. And here on the upper right corner, you have the free trial button. You can click on it. And there you have two options. You can create an account using your Google account, or you can create a new account with any email address you want. And using Google would give you two options. The first one is that we will be able to send your emails directly from your Gmail account. So for example, if you send an invoice to a client from Photo Studio, it will be sent directly from your Google address. And of course, we will also be able to automatically synchronize your Photo Studio calendar with your Google calendar if you want. Here, let's create a test account with a new email address. So let's say demo at photostudio.io. You set the password, you just confirm it and then you click sign up. Now you are in the, the assistant, so it's just a few screens allowing you, to conf allowing you to configure your account in just a few steps. It's very easy and very simple, so let's get started. Just enter your first name and last name. If you want, you can put a profile picture. So here I'm going to put this one, for example. Then you can press next. Very important, you have to select the, your shoot type. So, so what type of shooting are you doing? It's very important. For example, let's say baby, cake smash, corporate, family, and uh, let's say wedding as well. Next, just the original settings. And finally, do you charge with taxes or not? If yes, you can tick the box and you can put the default amount. So let's say you have 20% of uh, VAT, for example, you can put it here. And then finally, if you have a promotional code or a referral code from another photographer, you can put it here and you will get one more free month for a trial period and the other photographer will get will get one month as well. Uh, I didn't say it, but you have two free months when you subscribe to the, to the free trial, so two free months. But if you have a promotional code, you will get one more and it's three months in total. So that's it. My account is now ready to, to be used. The first time you arrive on your dashboard, this is the main screen on Photo Studio. For the first time only, you will see this screen. So it's just a few steps you have to do to finish your account. And then when you do all these steps, it's very easy and quick. You will get your last free trial months. Okay. And you also have those help pop-ups. Uh, it's just a few screens that showing you around. So what, what are these sections, what they are there for and so on. You can click on the buttons or you can simply close them if you don't want to see them anymore on the screen. So you are now on the main interface of Photo Studio. It is very simple to use. We just have to configure a few things before you are ready to go. So first let's go to settings and here you have my profile. If you, you have the, the first name, last name, email address, you can add phone number, you can add the website, Facebook page, and so on. And here you have the email signature. So if I just put this, this signature will be added automatic, uh, automatically to all the emails you are sending using Photo Studio. So you just have to do it there and it will be added everywhere. You can also add a, a logo if you want. And you, the, these settings, you, are, you don't have to use them at the moment. So let's press edit. And finally, the last page I want to show you in this video is my business page. Because there you can add the name of your business, of course. So it's, let's say this is my studio. I want to put my logo. Let's choose this one. And I want to select my color. Alors, why are we doing this? Because when you are going to send documents to your clients, estimates, uh, contracts, invoices, and so on, your client will be able to access them in the client interface. So the client interface, it's a private space only accessible to you and your client. And of course you want this page to be branded for you. So you will, you want to have your own logo and your own color. And of course, all the, these settings will also be used for everything. So the logo on your invoice will be this one, the color as well. So. Don't, don't, don't forget to choose your logo and uh, your, your, your color. Let's choose, for example, I don't know, this one. Okay. Uh, you can select your address, zip code, for example, the country. And here you have 
two three things. You have the default theme for your invoice and estimates. So it basically just it just uh, change the look and feel of your invoices. So if you have, you have two uh, custom themes and you can create your own one if, if you want. And here you have default commands so you can add in the footer of your invoices and estimates. So if I add this, every time I create an invoice, I will have this in my footer. So for example, if you are not uh, if you don't charge with taxes, maybe you have a mandatory mention to put in your on your invoice, you can add it here, but you can add everything you want. Okay, so that's it for this first video. And now I'm going to show you what are photo, sh photo shoot types, photo shoot types and prices in the next video. See you there.